Hello guys, welcome back to a new lesson. Um, this lesson is about unit conversion, okay? It's about unit conversion. I hope you have memorized all the prefixes. Um, so when you watch this lesson, it will be much easier for you. So you have unit conversion, okay? Some students are having difficulty with converting units, okay? But I promise you, with practice, it becomes much, much easier, okay? Now, let's begin. So, the first thing you should do is you should know which one is the prefix and which one is the base, okay? Now, look. Let's say you have five kilometers, okay? You have five kilometers. In the question, it has asked you to change it to meters okay the first thing you should do is to know whether you are changing from a prefix to base or to base to prefix so here you have a prefix you have memorized this from the table kilo is what this is kilo kilo is what kilo is a prefix okay so this is called p okay Meter alone is what is base, okay? This is called, this is the prefix, and this is a base, okay? If you are changing, if you are changing from prefix to base, or you can make this even simpler, if you are removing this kilo, okay? If you are removing this kilo and you want meter alone, Okay, so you want meter alone. You can directly multiply. Okay, you can directly multiply. You remember kilo is equal to what? 10 to the power. So 1 kilo is equal to 10 to the power of 3. Okay, 10 to the power of 3. You can directly add this number and multiply it by this one. So 5 times 10 to the power of three meters that's it okay so you have kilo instead of this k just write 10 to the power of three and multiply it and write the um, unit that you are changing to or that you are converting to now let's take another example okay let's say you have 43 um, nanoseconds in the question it says change it to seconds okay now look you know you are changing from prefix nano is a prefix to what to its base okay so you here you want um, seconds alone you want to remove nano okay so you will say 43 times 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds okay that's it okay um, to solve this question, um, like uh, the examples you have in the book, you will do like this, okay? So you will say 43, okay, times, okay? Well, of course, you are changing nanosecond to second. So you will say 43 times. Make, sorry, you will say 43 nanoseconds, okay, times. Make a fraction. The unit you are changing to will come up. The unit you are canceling or you are removing comes down. So nano second. If you are changing from prefix to base, okay, powers of 10 will come up. So you will say 10 to the power of minus 9. And you will say this is 1. So nano second with this one cancels. You have 43 times 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds okay now um let's have another example now um this one is changing from prefix to base if it asks you to um change a prefix to its base you can directly add the number okay now what if the question asks you to change for example let's say you have 132 grams it says change it to 
milligrams okay what will you be doing here so you have guys you know you have learned that this is what this is alone the one that is alone is called base so this is base the one that is not alone and has a prefix is called a prefix okay so you have here what milli okay milli is equal to what is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 now how can you change um grams to milligrams very easily you can just say 132 okay because you are changing base to prefix so you'll divide this number by 10 to the power of minus 3 okay now take this number up okay and this one will be 132 times because you are taking this number up so this one will be 10 to the power of 3 okay the powers of the power will change the sign of the power will change if it is minus if it is negative it becomes positive if it's positive it becomes negative okay here it's negative so it will become positive so it will be 132 times 10 to the power of 3 milligrams okay this is changing base to prefix let's take another example let's say you have um 23 seconds change it to microsecond okay because you because second here is alone okay second here is alone okay it's called base okay here this micro is called prefix okay so if you are changing from a base to prefix second here is alone it needs a prefix the question has asked you to add this micro to here so just simply you can say 23 divided by micro is how much 10 to the power of minus 6 so you'll say divided by 10 to the power of minus 6 now this one will be 23 as you learned this number comes up and it becomes 10 to the power of yes 6 the power will change now this one will be 10 to the power of um, 23 times 10 to the power of 6 what will be the unit microseconds yes now what if you are changing a prefix to prefix by the way you cannot change base to base because basically it will be changing for example seconds to grams which is impossible and or changing meters to seconds which cannot be done so you can only change um, prefix to base or base to prefix or prefix to prefix what if you have um, prefix to prefix okay for example let's say you have three or let's make it 35 centimeters change it to change it to let's say kilometers how can you change 35 centimeters to kilometers okay so now as you can see here it is prefix to prefix okay very easily okay um, there are many ways to do this okay but um, you can do it like this um, first change this centimeter to meter then change this meter to kilometer okay now you learned if you want to remove the centi and make it meter you will say 35 centi is how much 10 to the power of minus 2 time is 10 to the power of minus 2 meters now you have changed centimeters to meters now change this one to kilometer okay how can we do that so you are changing base to prefix you are adding this kilo to the meter so you will say 35 times 10 to the power of minus 2 divided okay why because the meter is alone and you want to add kilo divided by 10 to the power of 3 okay arrange this number and you will get 35 bring this number up okay and it will be 10 to the power of minus 3 why we said it because if you change if you bring powers of 10 up its sign will change from 
negative to positive from positive to negative so this one will be time is 10 to the power of minus 2 time is 10 to the power of minus 3 add the powers together and you will get 35 times 10 to the power of minus 5 um now um this is it uh, sorry we forgot the unit this one is kilometer okay this is all about unit conversion um um in the beginning it seems a little bit difficult and you might be struggling with it but as you learn and as you memorize the prefixes as you become more comfortable with the prefixes it becomes much more easier okay but by practicing by solving the questions do these questions okay again do the examples you have in the book and you should be comfortable converting from each prefix to another okay thank you so much and see you in the next lesson